Hi everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a Dallas Bins Haul. Yeah, we are parked outside the bins. It is uh, Sunday morning and we're getting ready to uh, see what we can find in there. If you're from or near Dallas, it's on Westmoreland Road. Yes. It looks like the door is broken. Uh oh. We have to go in the other door. What, the, the exit door? Yeah. Fun times. Yeah, if you don't know where the Dallas Bins location is, it's attached to the main store donation center headquarters on Westmoreland, but the entrance to the bins is around it's around the side. So let's go see what we can find. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna start with clothes. The bins is a little different. Uh, there's part parking over there now. And no hard good rolly conveyor belt thing. And uh yeah. All the hard goods are mixed in. Somebody was asking about linens, and these are the linen bins, which I do typically look in. It kind of grosses me out a little bit, but I do. Um, if you guys see anything, feel free to comment. Anything that I missed, love learning from you guys. Appreciate it. I found some really great things in these linens before. And we also have the clearance target. There's no real rhyme or reason to the bins today. This is a Sunday. This is when it's a little quieter here usually. They don't like it when I film in here when we do our bins hauls. So sometimes I have to cut out pretty quickly. Both those are keen. You are sensitive to heat. Do not come here when it is hot outside. There's no air conditioning. Um, it is very hot in here today. Free tampons. to be accessories and shoes. Here's a shoe bin. You can see what our shoes look like. Sometimes they're rubber banded together and sometimes not. So I did find three cowboy boots that someone had put back that didn't have matches. I gave them to Dan and we're going to keep looking for the matches because that's worth it for us. They sell really, really well. They're like Ariat. I believe the brand was. So that should be good if we can find the matches. Last time I was here, I found a Hazel Village plush. You guys saw me find that. And um, it's just sold for $300, $314. Sold within an hour of listing it. So I'm on the hunt for some plush to manifest it. The last couple of times we've been here haven't been so great. You never know with the bins, that's the thing. You never know with any thrift, really. Thread and supply. No acid washes in book. See, this is from Uptown, Cheapskate, which is another resale shop, a buy sell trade store. I'm always going to look up things with skulls on them. Asphalt. I think we sold this before. These have a hole in them. I think. I might try these. We'll see. That's the good thing about the bins. Oh, they're uh, clearing out the bins behind me. So, um, maybe we'll get some good new bins that we can look at. The 
this lime green and black has been doing great for us recently. Ashley Stewart, 1416. I don't, I don't know about this brand, but this black and green, lime green has been doing really well. I might like sneaky sneak pick this up and try it. That's, it's so great. And again, do you can just try things. If I have time, I will look up. I know it's a cheaper brand, but I will look up sell through rate. And if you don't know what that is, that's when you look up how many solds versus how many listed there are. It gives you a pretty good indication of if it will sell. Now this brand, CNC California, has been doing really, really well for us. I'm not sure this sweater is the it piece, but I don't know why. We had a, a good run with this brand. I'll maybe get that. I know that it's super loud with the crashing and for some reason the way my airpods pick up the crashing it sounds so loud and i'm sorry about that it's the best we can do i thought that those might be vintage oshkosh they're not I'm pulling these bins over here so we'll take one quick look at the shoes before they take them away I never assume something is not worth picking up because the bins have been picked over. There's people leave stuff all the time. Everyone's looking for something different. These are Harachis. I wish I could find another one. Those are cute. exit last night. Um, I did find this I wanted to show you. I can clean that tag with Folex really easily, but this is one of our best selling brands. It's a medium. I knew it was something we sold because of this pattern. It's a jacket. I was like, this looks like us. And it is. And it needs a little bit of work, but it's Paisley. Paisley's doing really well and Parsley and Sage general does really well for us i'm not sure i really have no idea about that brand today i just know that we pick it up at thrift and sell it i've never seen it at an actual store so i don't know i'm sorry but all i can tell you is it sells really well for us um, i've already been through this bin they just changed these out and i waited for the crowd to subside lot of Target today. Knox Rose can do okay, um, but that style I don't think is in anymore. Cavallini Petite Extra Large. Loving the petite sizes. I do not know about this brand. That does not look like an extra large to me. brand is recently sold I believe to ASOS. It doesn't do that well for us. We used to and if you're in England watching this then maybe it does still do well. I don't know. Okay I gotta go. Okay I'm back. I wanted to show you guys this. This is a FedEx um, vest. Even if you look up the sell through on these you will find that these are selling and they sell for quite a bit but you are not allowed to sell these it's like a security thing because you can walk into any building. So there's a lot of misinformation out there on selling FedEx, UPS, Amazon, that kind of thing. You can't do it. So just, I'm sorry, but you can't do it. You can risk it, but I'm telling you firsthand, don't do it. So I'm gonna leave that right there. And hopefully any new people watching this will have learned something today.
and not get your eBay account suspended. Just because some have sold doesn't mean that it's okay. And I didn't know that for a long time when I first started reselling. I was like, oh, other people sold it, it must be fine. That's just not true. So we gotta do our due diligence. Cabby, are we still picking up Cabby? I remember when I first started reselling, that was the hot ticket. I don't believe that it is anymore. There's a lot, y'all, this Amazon stuff that people are buying is starting to flood the bins. Most of the things I pick up are Shein or Amazon. Oh, it's so disheartening. This looks like Amazon to me. I don't know. Because every brand is so different. There's no real way to know except with how it looks, the quality, and how it feels. I thought this was a costume. I'm always looking for costumes, particularly now. It's September, if you're watching this later. And um, Nike Golf can do okay. I thought this was a Peter Pan costume. It is not. But you gotta be really careful with that. I'll leave that. Dan will probably find it and look it up. This stuff is so pretty. I don't think brand is the only way to shop at the bins. You can shop by style, but you just have to know what people would type in to look for your item. So if it's like an off brand, but it's a style you wanna sell, you have to think about search terms when you're picking it up. And uh, sometimes that's difficult. If it's a one-off and you really don't know if it's gonna sell or not. Polyurethane means plastic, which means fake leather, faux leather. It's all just plastic, and I normally do not pick that stuff up at the bins or anywhere really. How are you? Seems you got chains all on it. I also think about like how hard it would be to list something and how long it would take me when I'm picking up things as well. That's another thing that goes into the decision-making process. Not just brand, not just condition. How much research would it take? Just because it can sell doesn't mean it's worth your time. And that's, that's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of us. It's a hard lesson to learn. I did find a Madewell jean skirt in a size 16. I put it in the cart. I'm definitely getting that. It was a cute style too, even though Madewell is hit or miss for us these days. Um, I think that was a good pickup. Dan's over there looking stuff up. He's really good about that. Quicksilver board shorts. This is one of those things we pick up at the bins if they're in good condition. You guys know that if you watch our channel. Ew. Um, we pick up board shorts and cargo shorts all the time. These don't look to be in the best condition, so I'm going to leave those there. But it is something that we do when we're looking particularly for weight. We try to get above 25 pounds. This is free people. Intimately free people. A lot of people miss the intimately because the tag looks different. Good vibes. Um, let me try this. It's so lightweight. Oh my gosh, it's like less than an ounce. So if we don't end up listing that, maybe I'll wear it around the house or something. Or maybe it's a blogger favorite. You just never know. really full. Cool. This is a 
vintage something or another pencil skirt. Doesn't really have a size though, unfortunately. It says size 12. It's definitely not a modern size 12. Again, in my head, I'm like, that would sell. It's pink, it's Barbie, it's a pencil skirt. Those are all doing well for us, but I don't know how to list that. I don't know what it's made of. I don't know what the current size is, and it would take me time to just mental them. Whoa. Hello. Hello. much quieter in this room. But I think they're about to switch out the bins in the other room in the heat, so I'm gonna go in there and I'll check back in. Okay, we're at some new bins. I just found a couple of soft surroundings, um, plus size pieces and UMG plus in this bin. They're in my bag right now, but hopefully we can find some more. We will do a haul at the end of the video to show you everything that we got. Sorry about the glass crashing. This is Intro. I don't think this is a brand to write home about, but it is a 1X and it's a chambray top. I think I'm gonna have to try that. Chambray is a, like a soft, it feels like a soft, but looks like a denim, soft denim. So sometimes in a bin, you find one thing, you'll find a lot more, like a lot of, like I'm hoping this is a plus size extravaganza in here, because I'm always looking for that for my closet or at the store. Love to have all sizes. This is altered state, but it's not what I'm looking for. I found a beaded soft surrounding tunic. Can't wait to show you guys. It's very sheer and stunning. Soft surrounding is just filed for bankruptcy and they're being bought out by um, Coldwater Creek. So we have to wait to see what happens to the value. We won't know for a while. Sometimes it's a good thing that happens because the items become more sought after and sometimes it's a bad thing. I just don't know. This might be a bust. I brought you guys in so you could see some finds. I did already look at this piece and it has a rip in it. buy a ton of kids clothes but there's a handful of things I will pick up. That is not one of them, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We got some bathrobes here. Feels cheap. Mm -hmm. A lot of people ask why we don't wear gloves and this is why, because I have to feel stuff. Normally, if you weren't on here, I would just be throwing stuff much faster. Universal Standard. What is this brand, you guys? I don't know. This is a shift dress. It's a big boxy dress, but it has some stains. Yeah, this is the brand on Instagram. Let me get that. I don't know if it's good, but I know that influencers are hawking it like crazy. Never found that brand. Watch, you guys are gonna be like, that's not good. <laughs> well, I've never found it. So now I have just black. We used to sell these jeans at Stitch Fix. I'm not sure if they have a following or not. They probably do. What are you? You 
so fun. I love Stitch Medium. I need to go shopping at discount stores and figure out like which ones each sell, like Kohl's and JC Penney's. I just don't know. Because I think there could be value that I'm just leaving behind based on brand. And there might be some really beloved brands and styles out there. I need to dedicate myself to that research. Brand and Spencer. Do you know that brand? That thing had some issues. This feels like a rayon. It's not an expensive dress. Chick. Made for your curves. Love that. Did you try this? Is it a shirt dress? Very hard to do this with one hand. I don't think so, guys. I know that that's a plus size, but the, the fabric felt really, really uh, not great. cheap brands out here today you guys um brands over there if you can see them <laughs> digging through i'll check back in in a little bit okay we're in the middle of a really big switch over here so all the people have to stand back i'm switching over one two three like seven rows so two bins each it's a big it's half the store I don't know when they what I don't know when they started doing this but this is how it is the hard goods section is no more and it's just in bins like this I'll go through and show you here's Dan hey guys hello Sir, hi. Um, it's a lot of broken things I looked up some plush um, yeah so we are about to get out of here but we're gonna wait for one last rotation that's our Fatal flaw. We're always in one more, one more rotation. Uh, I'm just gonna show you this before I get yelled at again. Excuse me. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go through some of these clothes. Now they're switching out the other side. So they keep trying to leave, and then we don't because they keep bringing out more clothes. What are you supposed to do? already been through these bins. I wait till all the people leave to show you guys what's left. Sometimes we find stuff. Um, it's just hard when there's a lot of people. Because I have to talk very loud. Even though it sounds like I'm not, I am. And uh, it's a little awkward. Love a novelty print. This is Seashells. Carol Reed. Anyone know? Because I do not. They haven't been switching out clothes today, it's been mainly hard goods, so this is a good switch for us. Hopefully we find some things. We really need some more inventory. Here's some hard goods they did switch out. I can't believe Dan didn't get this cat thing. Oh my god. Looking rough. Lots of yoga things today. Yoga mats, etc. I 
believe how much stuff is here with tags on it still. The cool beetle shirt. You know, it's a reproduction of this cool. Sometimes I like to come to the bins just to shop for myself. See if I can find anything. There's many things I would pick up for myself, but not for resale. This DKNY dress though, oh, it's got filling on it. These stretchy like scuba fit and player dresses. I don't really think the brand matters. They do really well. DKNY makes some, Calvin Klein. You can find them at uh, you know, TJ Maxx a lot, but they do resell well. Band of Knights, I don't know. Y'all, it is 700 degrees in here. Actually, though, 700 degrees. This is the side of the bins that I'm on right now with no AC or fans or anything. So we're trying to sweat it out over here. See if Dan wants this. I don't know if he's doing Z Zanya anymore. This is a little bit of a ghost stripe. Don't know if this qualifies as a pinstripe. You know, I just don't know any of that, but I'm gonna grab this. Now, there's no dress pants in here. I did find some Hart Schaffner Marks dress pants that were brand new when I first started digging, but I don't think there's much chance of me finding the pants. I think this is a single situation. I'll ask him though. Sometimes at the bins he'll get things that he normally wouldn't at the thrift because the price is lower and you know they're worth less. I did get a Michael Michael Kors thing. It was 100% silk. I'll show it to you in the haul. It was a dress. I don't normally get Michael Michael Kors but then we listed a couple things and they sold. Now I'm like maybe I should have been getting them. So I'm going to try that since it's just one thing. I mean, not to say we don't have a whole cart full, because we do. This is H&M. Florida Creek. You know, this brand's okay. It just doesn't um, move that fast for us. I'm sorry for the background noise. I don't know what is happening back there. All right, everyone is lining up to go over to the other half. So I'm gonna keep digging until, I like to use my time. I don't like to just stand and wait. So I'm gonna keep digging until it's open. They have a new place to park your carts now. So our Heart is not with us, which is good and bad. At least you can park it now. All right, I'll check back in when we go to the other side. Hi. Hey, we're back. All right. We made it. We made it. All of the stuff that we bought, $82 yep. worth or something? So 84 something ish. Yep. It has been put through our thermostrike heater, which yep. is a dry heater. It's linked below. We don't like to risk any bugs coming in here. Not so much. We got some good stuff. I think so. You let us know. Please. All right, I think gonna... it's good. Let's go. All right. We're just going to. I don't actually remember. This was a couple days ago. Yeah. There's some of the stuff that I don't remember. We're going to start off with. Hey, look at that. New with tags, Talbot's pants. <laughs> Did you find these? I found these. Yeah. Nice. Size 16 Newport pant. 
Oh, the Newport as well. Well, That's there great. you go. Navy blue. Like I said, new with Jags. Dress pants. In we the know bins. the style. We can list that in two seconds. Maybe even less. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I found this. This is a really, really heavy weight, like wax jacket. It's a tri uh, trial master professional by Bellstaff. Oh. Made, made in England. Really, really nice. So the inside is a little, a little thrashed. Does that make it more valuable or less valuable? I, I don't know about this, but the cool thing is the belt is in the pocket. Yes, belt. Yes. So. I looked these up and I was blown away by how much they could potentially be worth. I'm not sure what this jacket is called since it's waxy, but if it wasn't waxy, I'd call it a tour coat. Yeah. I would not call it a bomber. Do not use that word on eBay anymore. They don't like it. Right. There's a Vero situation with the word bomber. Okay. That's good. Is yeah. that? Did you look up the comps? What were they? I remember them being over a hundred bucks. Like they were really good. So we'll pay for the whole thing. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. I love a blue eye cat. Here blue, we are. Yep, yeah, blue eye cat Chico's size one. This tag is a little gnarly, but that'll folex right out. Oh right. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that shirt is gonna sell so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Good style pickup there. This is another good one too. An open knit sweater, Chico size three. Yep, that would go too. That sage green is still is still having a moment. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of see how open the detail is there. Mm -hmm. Nice, That's a good nice. layering piece. That's what I'm going to use in my title. Cool. Okay. Stampede. Best fit in America. That's a high claim. <laughs> wow. Okay. I told... Oh. Opa. <laughs> you can't see it, but there's a big old stain on here. There's a big old stain on there. Yep. We buy these kind of dresses. I talk about it all the time. But these are modest. They're long and they don't have any slit in them. Mm -hmm. This is going to have to go into the washing machine. For sure. 100% cotton. Though. Is it made in the USA? It probably is. It is absolutely made in the USA. These yes. 80s like house dresses, jumpers, all this. I'm yes. telling you, I'll buy it. All right, we gotta... Here, all just right. hand it to me. I'll throw it in the washer. Throw it in there. Throw it. Right now. <laughs> there we go. Nice. What is this? Free people. This has a stain on it too. Okay. Uh, yeah. In the armpits. Uh huh. Yeah. And um, someone threw this back, but I didn't see that until I was hanging it up, and then I saw it. That's what happens. Our light here is way better than it is at the bins. So. So what I do, I get this question a lot. So if there's some yellowing in the pit yellow area, mm -hmm. I'll show you what I do. Look at that! You're getting the demo. No, I'm not going to demo. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm getting, well, maybe. Where is it? Where oh. did it go? I can't get to it right now. Okay. Okay. I use a product. Do you want it or back on the rack? Yeah, you just put it back on the rack right now. Okay. I could soak this in OxyClean yes. for days. Yes. That normally would work. I What I do is I put a product called Puracy on there, and it's you can use it on colors, but kind of gets out the pit stain so i don't use it on colors because i'm like mm. so <laughs> i put puracy on there and let it sit for days on the, the pits, actual days inside the pits and outside the pit like both sides of the fabric you gotta you gotta sandwich it yeah and then you let it sit for days and then if it's still a little there then this is only all whites okay then i soak it in oxyclean with the puracy on it i go like full force is that yeah. dress worth it probably not <laughs> You mean the, the effort and time? Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Do I want to win that battle? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love experimenting on things from the bins because if something goes wrong and the color bleeds or whatever. Oh, yeah, there's bins. It's fine. Bins. Okay. Well, Serengeti. Serengetticatalog.com. Remember be. when Serengeti catalog was a thing? I don't. And it, it looks like the soft surrounding stuff we sell a lot of and the yeah. Chico stuff. Like a beaded tunic. Yeah, embellish. I didn't look it up, but I think it might be good. We'll see. Pretty good. All right. Did this you buy this? Like, no, this is this is. Oh, this is Quince. Yeah. I bought this. Yeah, you guys saw me buy this. Yeah, I've never found Quince. I just see it I on Instagram. Know, I didn't know all this the time. was a thing. I didn't even know if it's good. It's just on in on my Instagram feed. I have seen it like a million times. Okay, like so a, like a khaki shirt. No, well the brand, yeah, it's like a khaki shirt, but the brand yeah. is like they make things out of luxury fabrics at an affordable price. 
I'm just quoting the Instagram ad, right? Inst- so they, interesting. They okay. have silk and linen and cashmere and all that, but you can afford it. So I'm not sure. Interesting. This one's uh, linen. But yeah. if you're like me and you don't want to like chance it yeah. on an Instagram ad, maybe you'll chance it on an eBay. <laughs> right. I don't know. I got this on a hunch. I don't know what this is. This might be a bad thing to show. I have no idea. Is it a band? I don't know. Is it weed? I no, don't it's know. Stranger Things. Yeah, it's the it's is the it monster weed? from Stranger Things. Oh, I thought it was it's weed like shirt. A, it's like an Adidas logo. <laughs> so, so some, yeah, I don't know if this is legit merch or not, or if somebody just made that. I have yeah, no it's idea. definitely hand crop, meaning someone cut <laughs> it off. Maybe I shouldn't have got this. Yeah, I thought it was like a weed. I mean, I can see why you say that, but it's it's the monster from Stranger Things. I didn't even know there was a monster. Oh yeah. Next, <laughs> moving right along. I don't know about this either. I don't know about this either. We don't know about this. It, it's new with tags, so. And the style looked good. The style's kind of cool. A loves A pencil skirt. I don't know if it's good or. I'm gonna look it up right now. Amazon special or what's going on? Y'all know it. we don't. We're not real YouTubers. Okay. A, <laughs> A loves A. It's probably terrible. Is yeah, it terrible? it's probably terrible. <laughs> I don't want to give you a uh, bad info. Oh yeah! Oh, it's me- mega terrible. Yes. Don't buy that, guys. Don't Amazon it. special. We did. We got right. Amazon. But it's cute. Maybe it's cute, right? Okay. This is also new with tags. This is Express new with tags. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Wait, I'm surprised one of those assistants didn't steal this. Our assistants be the, stealing clothes. The bodysuit action. Yeah, and this is cool. I'm yeah. surprised April didn't steal this. I don't know if April saw it. April? Oh. Um, we let our assistants take whatever they want. It's the only job perk we have. Yeah. You're sweet, right? Yeah, Maybe? I could totally see April stealing this. With the 3D? Yeah, this is yeah. really cool. I would wear this if it was my size. Okay. I don't know where I'd wear it to, but I would. Right? I would attempt to wear it. Let's put it that way. All right. We got a super fun Hawaiian dress. Love. Was it made in Hawaii? I believe it was. Love yes. that. These kind of dresses do really well for us, particularly if they're made in Hawaii. It says aloha all over it. Yes. Um, Royal creations made in Hawaii. Perfect. Awesome, right? Yeah, maxi length. Somebody needs this. Somebody made this. Look at this. This is like legit handmade from Hawaii. Okay. It's got a roll hem. This is like you would make this on your sewing machine. All right. Unless someone hemmed it. Maybe it was too long and they hemmed it. (laughs) Maybe, maybe. No, because the slit is the same roll hem. Hmm. This is like a, you know, like a mom and pop shop. I love that. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Love picking up coins. So. All kinds. All right, One of my favorite things. Big old chunky open cardigan from yeah. Calvert's Petite. I got this. It does have a big old snag in the back, but I think we can snag that it. Yeah, right, right, right. Yes. I think I can pull that through to the other side, tie it off, and it'll be fine. Yeah. These chunky knits from Talbots can do quite well for us. The the heavier, the shawl collar, all these, like, yeah. Um, this is really heavy. Yeah. And like Amy keeps saying, when it will call out, it does say Talbots Petites. See? Yeah. And that's the medium petite. All right. We got some new with tags, kind of waxy Banana Republic. Pants. Let's look at the waxy. It's been oh. a lot of waxy stuff. Oh, no, but, but these are nice. Are they real? Small petite. No, twenty nine petite. Uh, what do you mean? Are they real? Like, is this a leather? Um, what are we working? Is this polyurethane? It's cotton spandex. And and that's that's it. Ninety eight cotton two spandex. And whatever this plastic coating is, because that's not. Well. I... I don't know. <laughs> These are cool though. I like them. Good pickup. Thanks. Good job. Yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. Dude shorts Love from Bonobos, our favorite. Cool. Size, what are they? Size 32. Yep. They'll do great. Yep. Teal chino shorts. 15 to 20. Yep. All day, every day. Every day. Uh, this is Ted Baker polo shirt, size five. They look a little small. It maybe it has been shrunk. Maybe that needs to be yours. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Five is like super big. But... but it's not anymore. Right. Okay. What we got here? Long sleeve. What is this free? Wave uh, logo Patagonia. Patagonia. 
I gotta, I gotta it, oxy it needs this. A, it needs a soak. Yeah. But it, it, it looks better than it. Has it already been washed once? No, 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 no I haven't washed anything. Okay. The bins yet. It doesn't look as bad as I remember looking at the bins. Then. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of cool. This is Michael Michael Kors. I got this because Michael Michael Kors has been selling for us. But number two, and the most important reason, it's 100% silk. Okay. It's nice. That's pretty nice. I felt it before I knew it was like Michael Michael Kors. Yeah. There are some Michael Michael Kors people out there. Mm -hmm. And I have been too judgy. Still has the belt. Sweet. This is pretty. Don't be so judgy. I was too judgy about this brand. <laughs> we listed a bunch of it and it's all sold. So I'm like, mmm. Hmm. Oh, this looks cool. This is something navy. This is a banger brand. Like, if you interesting, bring it in there. Bring it in there. Everybody, pay attention. Look up. There you go. Something navy. Uh, oh, made yeah. in China, size small, but like this looks like it's something. Yeah, this looks nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if the brand, you know, however the brand is so good, or if it's the sell through that's good. It's, I don't al know. it's alpaca, nylon, and spandex. Okay, so now I put sweater alpaca. That's nice. Oh, it's right here. This one, twenty three dollars. Ah. <laughs> this one isn't the greatest one, huh? Well, this one's forty. This one's fifty. Let's see okay. if they're actually selling though. Maybe it's the style, you know. Yeah. I always look for this brand. It can do really, really well. It's particularly in the coats I've and the longer. Either. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this one's kind of a miss. Mm, kind of a pinger. Well, pinger. Borderline pinger. Yeah, and there's a lot of them <laughs> listed too. So here's the thing: in our bins, you you can't really use your phone that well. Yeah, the reception is not good. So normally we would look it up and be like, "Yeah, this all do is not that great." But we just do it. The spins. We're like, ah, let's just put it in the cart. So just because you see it here doesn't mean we're going to list it. Like when I actually sit down to do this, we might not list it. Yeah, there's going to be a, a little bit of a culling process. We're talking about having like uh, yard sales at night. <laughs> April wants to do this. Yeah, she wants to have a new yard sale at night and because we live on a busy street. and people To, to capture all the the, 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 the people the coming back from the bar. From the bars. <laughs> that uh, will go in the drunk yard sale. Uh, that's a cool shirt. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, alpaca. Right? Uh, just basic John Barbados t shirt. Cool. You're not keeping this. It's a large, mm. so no. Okay. He normally swipes it all. Swipes it. This has got a, some something on it on the front. This there. is another Insta brand called Halara. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It uh, is new with tags, but there is a flaw on the front. Flaw on the front right there. Yeah. I don't know what right. that is. It It might be glue. It might be not fixable, but I'm sure going to try. Right. Uh, I will keep the tags and reattach them after I wash it, and okay. then I will not list it as new with tags because it's not new once I've washed it. But I do do that. I have a gun and a tiger. I have a tiger, <laughs> and I just say includes original tags. There you go. In the title. There you go. Or with tags, but not, I don't put it as new. Not a lie. Truth. What is this? I don't remember. C by Chloe. You I, found. I this. found this. This is so Y2K. Yeah, you said you said this, this is like not always the best, right? But it's I, not. I grabbed it anyway. No, but it can be, you know. Y2K, yeah. this might do okay on like Depop. Okay. Look, look at me like I know. I don't. You have, what are you saying? I don't know. It's Y2K. Right? That's what I'm saying. All yeah, right. I'm saying. Harry Potter stuff sells, so I grabbed the Harry Potter Slytherin cardigan. It has hair all over. All it. over it. Oh, yes. Wow. It's gonna be fun. Slytherin. Yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> Our other sissy kitty gave us the rundown of all the houses. Yeah, because we don't know. Sorry. She said they get a bad rap, though. I believe her. I believe that. Uh, I grabbed this coat on the way out this from is cute. Land's End. Wait, this looks like it might be like a tiny size. It's a size eight. Oh, then this must be three quarter sleeves. But it, I checked. Fully there's lined. no there's no belt holes, so it's not missing a belt or anything. Is it a kid's eight? I don't Hold on. Know. Uh -oh. We're, about to, we're uh -oh. about to tell you. We're about to find out. Give me this coat. Take the coat. I think this might be ch children's child size eight. What do we think? What do you think? Yep, this fits perfectly in the sleeve. Where does a button though? It's kind of big. The buttons. It's got like the hidden buttons. It's kind of big for a, a kid's eight. 
Okay. How's the shoulders doing? They're they're a bit wide. They're a bit wide. So maybe it's a women's. Here, you put it on now. <laughs> Come on. In it. In you go. In All you right. go. This All is right. how we do. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bag ah. and a little coast. <laughs> Okay, wait, turn around. Let me just see the shoulders. <laughs> yeah, women's three quarter sleeve swing <laughs> coat. It's nice. I'm out of here. <laughs> Take your coat and get out. Yo, look at my buttons on my back. Cute, right? I mean, Miss <laughs> Mary Mac, 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 All right. dressed in black. <sighs> Okay. Okay. I explained this in the video. I don't think Ashley Stewart's the. Is it Ashley Stewart? It's Ashley Stewart. I don't think it's the greatest seltzer brand, but lime green and black have been doing so well for us. It's really loud, yeah. And so I was like, maybe you know, Halloween and everything, green starts to come out of the woodwork. This lime green and black. This is a Halloween. So we could use this for a costume. Exactly. For sure. I see that. And so I was like, and it's a plus size, you know, Ashley Stewart. And so I was like, we're gonna try this out. I explained it though when I was. They're revving it. Revving it. All right. We got a all right. Soft surroundings tunic with all the embellishments. Uh, this is in that's, the bin. How that's gorgeous. Nuts. And it, it's I think it's all intact. I mean, I was looking at it pretty carefully. Um I mean you know I can't tell for sure, but it looks good to me. It's great. I love selling this nice. I know. Look at that. Look at it. Okay. All right. All right. Big green sweater. CNC California. Nice. I was saying in the video. Oh, wow. What? What's wrong? There's an almost hole. Almost hole. Uh -oh. Well, maybe not. Okay, it's not. It's not a hole. Oh. All right. Uh, I've been telling them this brand's been doing well for us. I don't know. Yeah. Why. I don't it's know why. Let me look at Vendu. Uh huh. You kind of see it there. Vendu. C and C. It does pretty good for us, I think. Yeah. California. No joke. We've sold 14 things and we have two listed. Yeah, it's pretty good. I thought that was like a Nordstrom <laughs> Rack, like bargain brand. It's not. Nope. Y'all, don't sleep on that. We got some shorts here. All right. I this? said I was going to have you look these up. Asphalt. I was like, you would know. Uh, I don't know. But I buy like creepy things like this. Yeah. I mean, especially like you said, with Halloween coming up, that's a good thing. Oh, okay. Let me look them up. I don't know what these are. Hi, hi, a. A S P H A L. Oh, she's very good. Yeah. Looks like some lined. Like, skull shorts? Yeah. I Is it a skull? Yeah. <laughs> There's no drawstring. That's not the end of the world. What's this smell? Oof. Anything? I should just put asphalt shorts. Yeah. Blue asphalt. No, this is different. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's like hot topic or something. Y'all tell us below. You yeah, know. Somebody, somebody knows. knows. Somebody knows. What is this? Intro. Hold on. Hold on. What? Holding. There was one for like 160. Hold on. <laughs> I would not say hold on, Leslie. I need to look at these holds. I need to figure out what's going on here. Hmm. No, I don't know. I need to do more research on this. I can't figure out if that's those or these. Are, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because asphalt's pretty a common. Yeah. I can't really find the brand. Right, we'll try to Google put an image it or something. Done. I'm back. Okay. Uh, this is from Intro. A little heart on the label. Yeah, I got this because a couple of things. I'm going to tell you why. First, it's plus size. Second, it's yep. a chambray. It has a little flaw. A little ink stain. Uh, it's a chambray top. It has patch pockets on the front. So you can call this, uh, the word for this is like a smock top. And that's really right. popular. Like artists wear this. See, imagine you at your easel with your paint brushes. Yeah. It's it's a play on like smocks that little kids wear in like kindergarten when you're totally. Smocks are great. And that's what I would kind of brand this as. It's also chambray, which is made of Eliasel. Very, very soft material. It's got a lot going on for it stylistically. And I think on the mannequin, it's gonna look yeah. superb. So that's what I got. I don't know about the brand at all. More denim. Okay. 
Is this Madewell? It's got a wrap kind of tie. Yeah, tie. Yeah, Madewell X Karen Walker. Oh, it's a collab. Collab in a size 18. Love that. Skirts are in. I'm telling you. Cool. If you don't believe me, list them. You'll see. Right. We've been selling skirts like crazy. This is another Calvin's top. Oh, I picked this up. Okay. I really did. Because it's a blush pink, which is still working for us. Yep. It's got ruffles. All of those things are working for us. This feels very athleisure-y. It could be Amazon. We're not sure. Anetic? I didn't get this. I didn't get this. Who got this? <laughs> you didn't get this? No. Was this one of the, the mystery things that, that one person put just put into a There was cart? a lady putting stuff in our cart. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if she was a viewer, but she was putting stuff in our cart. I don't know. Premium performance, UPF 30 plus. Is this a, like a kid's tent? Because I kind of want to wear this. No, this is a, we're, I don't, I have a, I have no This idea. has got to be a kid's Should we try it on again? <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be a kid's tent. UPF shirt. I'll wear that. Yeah, cool. And my outdoor adventures, because, right. you know, that's what I'd be doing. All right, Parsley and Sage. I know this brand. We know this brand. I would have picked that. this up. Look at that. This is a banger. That's a good one. Yeah. If you don't know Parsley and Sage, you should look at this gnarly tag yep. and learn about it. I mean, it's, it stands out pretty good. That okay. tag. I, knew, I thought this was going to be Chico's or something like that. I would have picked oh, it up man. no matter what the brand was on this because it's paisley it's got the waterfall hem or the handkerchief hem it's open front it's a knit uh it's got no it's a weave it's a it's a woven it's fully lined in the sleeves here yeah it's got like rug vibes tap is the <laughs> word rug. rug wear this rug wear it nice i thought that was a good one all right, I, I picked this up. I just I wasn't sure. It's an H and M collab, Richard Allen, okay. H and M collab. I don't know. I don't either. Oh, well, but career stuff is doing really well for us, so I I'm happy about that. Yeah, we'll it's see. Got a bunch of buttons on the sleeves, you know. So sometimes these H and M collabs can be really really good. Some of them can be great. The yeah. one with Pendleton was really good. Uh, what's the other one that was really good? I don't, there's a is it John Vincent Kai one? I don't know. There's no. there's some really good. Uh, collabs out there, so just look them up if you have service. <laughs> All right, this is from Umji, which is, is what well, you said, it's a boutique brand. It we sure is. Up a bunch, but it does pretty well for us. But at the end of the day, Free People is a boutique brand too, so yeah. it's on the same lines as that. Uh, yeah. The larger sizes do really well for us in Umji. Yeah, it's a two X. And I hesitate to say that a lot, like larger sizes sell better. I think in this brand, the sizing is better in the larger sizes. For example, I wear an extra small in an MG, and extra small is similar to free people. It's too big for me. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. why I think the larger sizes do better because they're more appropriately sized. They're cut better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Makes, that makes sense. Speaking of oversized free people, there you go. This is intimately free people. Oh, this is like a nice Giant shirt. night shirt. Burnout. This is a burnout fabric. This, says, is, this is probably an extra small. Okay. Does it say no? No, it's a medium. <laughs> you would show all your lady parts if you wore this. Oh my! Oh, it's got a giant hole in the back. Oh jeez, Louise, distressed. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that weighs nothing. So if we just donate that back, it's like we all good. Yeah. You found these. This is sure some new with tags. HSM hard Schaffner marks in the bin that have been picked Dress over. Pants. Yeah, I mean. 36 regular. That's a for sure pickup for us. Every time. Love it. All right. Get another open front cardigan. This time from Joa. Uh, this brand Royce. is tricky. It's tricky. Yeah. But they're, it's similar to Vince. I put them in the same category in my mind. So the knits and the outerwear do better and you can command a higher price. But like the regular blouses and things like that. Be careful. Okay. But if you're at the bins, don't don't get burned. At don't the get thrift. burned. Is this reversible? Here, put here, it up here. Of, I mean, yeah, probably. No. Mm -mm. No, the pockets don't go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But it is pretty. It is. Got some poles. Style number, cool. What's it made out of? It is fifty-fifty wool and yak. See, when it has a good fabric content, I feel the ones mm -hmm. nice. I think we can we can do well with this, but yep. I just would. When you're at the regular thrift, be careful. Yeah. Look it oh, up. What is this? Polly. Did I, you bought it. This is fake. 
Did you buy this? I have no idea. We don't know where I've this never came seen from. this before in my life. Okay, we don't know where this came from then. So <laughs> this looks like the Princess Polly tag. Did they change it? This might be Princess Polly. I don't know where this came from. I've no, I have never seen this before ever. <laughs> okay, moving on. It's cute. We'll just put you back over here. I gotta do some research on that. Maybe they changed the tag. Okay, we got some blue and white situation. New tag, BCBG. The Max Azrael one. Oh, yeah, and this has this is how the sleeves go. They're like little capelet. It's got like a little capelet here. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a little bit high fashion, actually, but it's a jersey stretch material. It feels like a bathing suit. Mm -hmm. uh, this should look great on mannequin. This is why we have a mannequin right here. Okay? Look at this thing. Just like hanging on the thing. Like, what even is that? It's a huge rectangle of fabric. Like, what is this? Right. And then once we put, I wish we could bring the mannequin over here and show them right now. Like, I wish. Yeah. We can't. <laughs> but maybe later. Stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned for what's old. So maybe you'll see it because it's going to look amazing. It needs arms. You have to have arms for this thing. Yeah. Did you buy that? I did. It is blinding. It is blind. Shield, Shield yourself. Shield your eyes. Get ready. Whoa. Oh, it doesn't look that bright on here. In real life, it, it is. It is insanely bright. Uh, we call this color highlighter yellow. But actually, though, this is legit from Devo. And I, I, I would know. <laughs> <laughs> I would know. Uh, this is uh, Latiste by Amy. I tried looking this up. and I, I, I think you got it. Amazon. Boo -boo. I may have gotten Amazon. This looks yeah, Amazon. this is terrible. This is terrible. Oh, well. You were blinded by the light. I can't even... I think it's Amazon. It could be Amazon. So much stuff at the bins this time was Amazon. Yeah. All right. This was not Amazon. This is a Hugo Boss Traveler Sport Coat. Oh, nice. Yeah. Travelers are good. Yep. So it's got the fabric called out there. So I'll pick up a Hugo Boss every single time, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Here's another one. This is yeah. a really little guy. 36 short, which you don't find very often. Not the sense of my relatives. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm taking a chance on this. Okay. Because it's a vintage or older Brooks Brothers, but it's a double breasted peak lapel blazer. Okay. So this has like super it, navy I'll, vibes. Yeah. A, a bunch of dog hair on it, but we'll be all right. So you, I would definitely put sailor, nautical. Uh, it looks like a uniform. This it, is, it really does. This yeah. would be a great Halloween costume piece for somebody. Um, all it's missing is some like gold ribbon right here. Yeah. This is very, very uniform-esque. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it were a uniform. I've never seen anything like this that's just like fashion. <laughs> it's so military. As a costume designer, I know what a military or a uniform looks like. Oh, there are pictures. You guys! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, oh my man. god. Oh, I cannot show. Should I show them? Uh, no, you probably shouldn't. It's pictures it's like, of, of a guy. It's a guy. Like a like the four photo booth pictures, you know? Oh. Is he wearing this jacket? No. no. <laughs> ha, so he just had... Now I have questions. No, we have questions, right? Why would you have a photo when you're not wearing this jacket? It, it's a, it's an odd size, too. It's a 48 extra long. So. I, I guarantee... I, I would like bet money that this is like a pro a pilot or a <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna take this guy and just put him away. Just put we never find there. money, we find the weirdest stuff. <laughs> this poor guy. Oh, this poor guy. All right, we got another double breasted blazer, but a women's this time. Banana Fantastic. Republic. Yes. Right? I mean, this kind of stuff will is I have a Banana Republic double-breasted women's blazer up right now, and it's getting a lot of attention, lots of offers, and yes. I'm just not budging. It's getting hold, lots of lowball offers. You hold it. I'm holding. Stick, I know it's worth $50. Answer. You hear me? It's worth $50. It's cool. Nanette from Nanette Lepore. Another brand to be very careful with. Yeah, like, right? Very careful. Joa, Nanette, uh, Lepore, and, and Vince. Be careful. Because this looks really high quality. This is really nice, though. It's a quilted jacket. Yeah, a little, uh, uh, a little murmur. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. But it has <laughs> the fabric-covered buttons. Yep. It is a double-breasted style. See, it goes over. Um, we do have a little meatball sitch. Yep. 
that we're gonna have to deal with but it is very nice i think nanette is the michael michael cores of nanette, nanette lacour mm -hmm. so i don't think it's like the highest end line but this blue and white and these kind of jackets do really well for us 100 percent cotton so it just needs to which i just need to resurrect it yep all the stains it's nice though i think it's nice yeah yeah i was happy about that one all right what else we got in here if I could fit in, I might try. <laughs> is it Zara? I think it's Zara Kids. Um, it is Zara Kids and new with tags. There you go. Zara Kids does really well for us. It's a, and it's a six. It's a six. Oh, it'd be a stretch, that, literally. Yeah, the, <laughs> if it was an eight to ten, I would have been melting all, myself all down. about it, right? Yep. It's real cute though. Anyway, there's Facebook groups for Zara Kids, so I might try to sell stuff on there. You always seem to come out of the bins with a Hannah Anderson or two. Yeah. Check that out. Look at the little patches. Mm. Uh, Hannah Anderson is a really good kids brand. Uh, we just saw a ton of kids clothes, yeah, we'll try but it. make sure you spell the name right. That's what the tag looks like. Yep. Yeah. And it's it's spelled H A N N A. Uh, A-N-D-E-R-S-S-O-N. Mm -hmm. All right. What are, we got a couple of kids' things. Mm -hmm. oh my God, the tiniest pants I've ever seen. Also from Anna Anderson. Little corduroys. Oh, my God. We got to get these listed fast. <laughs> and uh, we have, we're crossing some kids in now, too. So hopefully some of this stuff will sell. That's what was in my mind when I was coming up. Okay. All right. Um, Bowden. Bowden baby. Baby Bowden. <laughs> He's had to be from the same kid, right? Had to have been, right? Your blue and your orange corduroys. Thanks. Cute. All right. This is a Talbot's stretch gingham shirt. Okay. Cool. Trying it out. Gingham. Gingham. Some soft surroundings pants. sold these pants before they look very we, familiar yeah. they're a stretch jean but they're kind of like pink tinted i think we've sold these exact pants we may have mm -hmm. all right couple things to go yeah Whoa. i'm trying to make this fit on my body it makes <laughs> way too big Free people, yeah. size medium this is a handkerchief hem this is it like a hundred percent it looks like it's made out of a handkerchief so just let it go. It looks like handkerchiefs are dangling from you. This this is that. So sometimes <laughs> we call a handkerchief hem something that is like this. You know, it kind of goes down a point on each side. Yep. But really, this is it. Okay. Bam. With the multiples. Yep. That's cool. Um, yeah. There was a high fashion day when people would make skirts with handkerchiefs. Okay. All right. Chiefs. Handkerchiefs. Another brand we usually grab, Sundance. Yeah, and this one was a little bit like, oh, that's no, pretty, I thought I had elephants. It's pretty cool. These tassels. Yeah, they survived. That's nice. <laughs> sometimes Probably. sometimes the tassels don't make it. I'm, <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, no way you were leaving this behind. Yep. Look at that. Told you. These dresses, these like, I'm not talking about this the ones. Ditzy, ditzy print. It's a ditzy print. I'm not talking about those dresses from Target the other year where it was like everyone was like, Little House on the Prairie or whatever. I'm talking about the legitimate ones from the 80s and 90s. Yeah, this is what is it? Laura Ashley, mm -hmm. made in Carno, Wales, UK. This is this is the real deal. Wow. Uh, and this will sell to someone who definitely needs it because you cannot buy this quality in the store anymore because Target is not Laura Ashley. Okay, UK Laura Ashley. Yeah. This is um. So we call this a shirt waist. It is has buttons that go down to a waist legit man there's yeah. a bunch of extra this has been hemmed yeah yeah for sure yeah so basically it would be hoove us to take out this hem the original hem is still there yep wait i'm gonna do it right now okay people love this so and you can tell i mean like it's been redone and the the, the original is right here in the a lot of people that get, choose get in there to wear a modest style for whatever reason um, I just want to show you how easy it is to take on a hem. So you just need a seam ripper. Mm -hmm. So you get the one thing going and then you just, <laughs> you're just good. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people that wear modest clothing, not everybody, but some people want 
they are hemmed to go to the floor. So it would behoove us to have a longer inseam and then people can take it up to their exact, yeah. you know, I just wanted to say behoove like 45 times. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy though. So some people are like, I don't sew. I can't do that. It's been hemmed. I'm not going to pick this up. Girl, taking you out, can taking do it. Taking out a hem is rude, like the easiest thing of all time. Did you want to do it? I mean. It's kind of stress relieving. It is. You just burr, rip it. <laughs> Go. Give me that. Then when you get hung up on it, like, you need me get you. A spot. Oh, see, it's yeah, also been. Like a... Yeah, because this is what happens. It gets too big. You get too much bulk. There you go. There you go. See? Look there at this. This is a good. Got another one. I think this is a good almost eight inches that we're getting back. Which is going to make this more valuable for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just showing people. I think the demo is what yeah. you need. Sometimes people get scared. Don't be scared. The original hem is still here. Intact. And I'm very happy about it. So we'll just pull all the loose threads. Now we're actually like oh, for, we're talking. for a maxi length to hit the floor. Some people don't want to show their ankles and that's their prerogative and that's great. I want to provide them with clothing. Yeah, I need that. Seam rippers are really sharp too. Like you can yeah. cut yourself. They don't look too dangerous, but. Yeah, you'd be bleeding if you don't watch out. It'll get you. You won't even know it. You didn't know you were going to get this extra in a haul. Extra. No, 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 no. Side right, side. There we go. Nice. All right, and now think, hold it up. Let's think, see the big. I think we're free. Let's see the full length now. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Can't even like see it in the thing. So here, put it up to you. Let me see if it hits the floor on you. Oh, oh, oh. The door was opening. It felt weird. <laughs> You're going to fall over. This is. So Dan's what? Are you, five nine or something? Yeah. Somewhere. And this hits the floor on him. So it's great. And then people are used to, <laughs> you know, hemming. The belt's attached. This is called um, smocking right here. That's great. I'm so happy with this. Yeah, you, look can tell, you can tell this is nice. Like, the buttons are really nice. Yeah, why not? Um, cotton... I put that on Etsy too. Yeah, you could. That's definitely sure. vintage. Yeah, there's um, many listed. Yeah. 170. Okay. Uh, let's see what they're selling for though. Yeah. Every single thing is listed over 100. Sweet. Um. Yeah, that one sold from the UK mm -hmm. for 109, which yeah. is in in English pound and British pounds, I believe. 94, 99, 99. What right about a hunch? 140. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if you learn nothing else from this, like, <laughs> nobody was looking at that dress. Yeah. Nobody. They're looking for Prada, and I've sold Prada for $40. Right? Yep. It's stuff you can't find. That's where the value is at the bins. The stuff that nobody's looking for because they don't have enough knowledge in all areas, and they're just looking for designers. That was a good find. Yeah. Great one. All right. We got a pair of pants from Elizabeth and James. This is uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's brand. I got the cargoes, joggers, cargo joggers. I think it's still at Kohl's. I don't think this is the Kohl's line, but I got it because they're cargo. And cargo is in. Okay. Big time. Big time. It's also a tensile, which is a soft really tensile nice. and lyocell are the same fabric. Yeah. One of them is a brand name. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Are these Lululemon shorts? They sure are. Look at those tiny little running shorts. They sure are. Yeah, you can tell immediately. I felt them. Oh, the feel, uh, just a little the logo right there. You'd be surprised how many people skip over it because it's not in your face. Size six. You just have to know how it feels. Yeah. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. All right, and then I found this sitting in the bin. And it's I went beautiful. New with tags and Taylor. It's new with tags. Yes. This coat was $198. And it, it didn't have the belt. And I was like, I know this belt is in the bin. And yes. I went searching for it, mm-hmm. and I found it. This is gorgeous. I was just sitting there. Same thing with J. Crew coats. If you can find them with the belt and everything, people pay big money because they know what size they wear. Look at the, I mean, this, this it's is gorgeous. A huge freaking lapels it's awesome i think with this the cottage core dress and that jacket i think each of them are worth a hundred so that's 300 right there yeah with nothing else then they got a box we got a box of stuff we got a treasure box i almost forgot about the box of stuff um i found this almost brand new looking audi quattro huh just a snapback hat you should give that to your dad but it's like super clean and like brand new yeah i might give it to my dad He he might like that Whatever. Um, you guys. Is that a banger? It's kind of a, a, a little banger, yeah. This is a Tempur-Pedic uh, travel pillow. Oh, so it like conforms. Like the from the brand, Tempur-Pedic. Yeah, like okay. The mattress brand. Yeah, and it's still really nice and soft. Uh, and the sell-through is, is really good. And you can get like probably, I don't know, I want to say 40, 50 bucks maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, again, something that people wouldn't look at. People would be like, oh, I, I looked at that like, immediately. I saw the Tempur-Pedic logo and I was like, I bet you that's good. And I just grabbed it. And then I looked it up. I, like, I think that's our biggest, biggest <laughs> tip is to like figure out the things that no one's looking at. Yeah. I mean, and this is definitely everything was in picked over bins already. So look at this little guy. Did you look this up? This is amazing. No, I did not look this up, but I remember like these things from my childhood. These these to- toys have been around forever. Oh my god! <laughs> Cute. Um, we get these to take our Poshmark packages to the free bags. What bags. is happening here? I didn't look this up, but. The Hawaiian um, Hello Kitty does really well in Build-A-Bear, so I thought maybe. Oh, oh man. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So it's a towel <laughs> it's a, with the hood. A towel with a hood? Get out of here. Well, if the Hawaiian um, Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear is worth 100 I thought the towel might be good. Look at that. Do you think it's good? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how could it not be? I had to have this. I probably would have bought it for myself. I'm surprised you this. <laughs> Look, you'd be walking around with this thing all day. It's my huh? reseller cape. I'm going to look it up. Look it up. Comment down below if you, we should sell it or if it's, this would be <laughs> Amy's official reseller cape. Uh, <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Come Hold on, on cape. Come on, I don't see cape. any. Maybe this is so good. It's so Maybe rare. Like super rare. This tag looks. The tag is all washed out and faded. Okay, there's a beach towel that's listed for sixty nine, but it does not have a Hello Kitty what? hood. What? You could be sitting. This could be a gold mine. I'm telling you, the Hello Kitty like, stuff. The Hello like Kitty with something. the brown skin though is that's the ticket. Oh, the tanned tan. Yes, kitty? yes, <laughs> tan kitty. I'm telling you, it's the ticket. Yeah. I don't see any with the hood. Oh man! We gotta put on the mannequin with the potential head. Potential banger. This is a potential. <laughs> I mean, this Hello Kitty Hawaiian dress one that it's called Sun Kiss Tan. Uh-huh. Uh They go over a hundred all day, every day. The Build a Bears. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at all the sold right Get here. Out of here. Yes, none. There's none listed or sold. <gasps> Ooh. Someone's been waiting. They're, they got a safe search. Like I know. It's like. Okay, what else we got? I don't know. Oh, we have an offer. Oh, offer retracted. Oh, dang it. How does it say respond to offer and then also offer retracted? All right, we've got a couple pairs of shoes. we got these Clark's Artisan Cork Wedges. I thought they they're, were cute. Yeah, they're kind of cute, and they're, like, brand new still. We basically. do great with Clark's. Not, a you know, probably like, 20 or 30, but. Yeah, there's, like, barely any, you know, foot impressions or anything. I would wear these, and I don't wear you shoes. Are these my size? No, they're too big. No, they're too big. These is cute, though. All right. Cool. Uh, we got a pair of Madewells. Right? They're in good shape. They're in really, really good shape. Normally, the shoes at our bins are 
thrashed. I mean, not the good kind of thrashed either. So, so I found both of these as go backs, like meaning someone put them back because they didn't want them. So I made sure nothing was wrong with them. Yeah. They probably checked this out through and it's probably not great. That's fine. For shoes for us, if they're clean and I don't have to clean them, we love listing them. Yeah. I don't have to clean either of these. So I was like, if we can make 20 bucks off of them, I'm good. But I understand if you're a shoe seller, that might not meet your threshold. Yeah. Those are nice. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, we got some beater on clouds. All right. They are B10. I got to put them in the they're wash. They're super beat up, but apparently beater on clouds and beater hokas will still sell. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know these. about these. These are pretty. They're lightweight, though. So uh, even if we throw them away, it'll be fine. They're pretty rough. Those are pretty rough. Pretty rough. Uh, and then we got a couple of plush. This is a new tags Pokemon plush. I don't know who this is. Matt, let us know who this is, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and do you want him? Uh, and then we it's also a got Corgi. It wouldn't be a trip to the bins without a giant micro plush, right? Got another one. We got dead COVID. <laughs> what? Yeah, we. This is what we found so far: a placenta. We found a brain. We found syphilis, lest we forget. Mm -hmm. We found dead COVID. We found a spleen. I mean, and they also. Yeah, weird, wacky plush like this. Just It's called giant microbes. It, it moves quick. Uh, I think that's all we got. That's all like we got that for we you. This is this. Yamper, by the way. Tag says this is a corgi. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, if it's new with tags and it's Pokemon, I always get it. And I'll just <laughs> donate it if it's not worth it. This towel, I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued by the towel now. Well, see, this is what happened with that plush that we sold from Hazel Village. Yeah. Uh, for $314. $314. There was none listed and none sold, even on Terapeak, for two years. So you can kind of come in whatever you want. And mm -hmm. then everyone had safe searches. They were looking for that, waiting for someone to list it. And I'm hoping this is a similar situation. Oh, man, that sun-kissed Hello Kitty <laughs> hooded towel. Woo! Love it. Love it. Um, that's all we got for you today. We appreciate you guys hanging out, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Everybody's favorite sleeping cat footage. Look at this guy. He's dreaming. Oh. You sleep too, sweet girl. Yep. It's a rough one, huh? <laughs> you guys saw that judgment? All right, say bye.